and she has a brand new pattern called Vintage Christmas. It's a cross stitch pattern. And today she's gonna show you how you can turn all of the vignettes, there's a total of 12, into cute Christmas ornaments. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make these cute little cross stitch squares into ornaments. So here we have the Santa one. And after you cross stitch it, what you need to do is make it into a four and a half inch square. So on my vintage cloth, I've counted eight squares past this cute little trim here. So if you cut that all the way around, that's exactly four and a half inches square. And then you need to make a little pillow insert. So see these ornaments? See, there's the little pillow back in there. I like to make little envelope inserts in case you need to clean it for some reason or anything like that. So first I make the pillow inserts. I cut them four and a half inches square and I just do a whip stitch to close it up after stuffing. Okay, then for the fabric back, these are pressed in half already, but what you're going to do is cut two five inches tall by six inches wide and then press them with wrong sides together so that they measure three by five, two of them. And then what you're going to do is you're going to overlap them by an inch. And before we sew, you're going to cut eight inches of the small vintage trim. This is cloud. And what I did is I just made a little loop, went like there, this in the center. And you can tell what the center is because of these two little squares right there. And I just did on my machine just a little stitch there to keep it in place. So when that's in place, we're going to lay it down there and then we're going to go to the machine and sew. Okay, so I'm just going to fold these with the raw edges up here. And again, it's an eight inch length. And I just put it in the center of the top and I just want to go in like an eighth of an inch at the top and just do a quick little sew on there so that it doesn't slip when we're sewing the pillow. Okay, so now I'm ready to lay this face down. Remember I have these overlapped by about an inch and the folded side is on the inside. The raw edges are on the outside. So I lay this face down and I center it, you know, the best I can there right on the square. You can pin it if you want, but I don't really find it necessary. I just hold it down because we're going to trim this excess fabric off afterwards. So I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch seam, but I like to go in the second square here where this row is. So here's one square, here's two square. I'm going to sew right along the seam all the way around. And I'm going to back stitch where I start. I just go slow enough. I always use an open toed foot so I can see where my needle goes. I don't like to guess. So then stop on that second square, turn it around, and put my needle down. Stop in that hole on the second square in, pivot. Here you can kind of straighten everything, make sure it's laying flat. The great thing about doing the little pillow back is you don't have to leave an opening in the cross stitch fabric. You just sew all the way around. Back stitch when you stop. Okay, so now I'm all the way around and I'm going to just trim off this excess fabric right even with the cross stitch. Okay, so before I turn it right side out, because it's like eight o'clock and could fray easily, I like to do a quick little zigzag around the raw edges.
Okay, now those edges are secure. And it's super easy now to just turn it right side out. I didn't remove my pins. And I just kind of do it slowly. There's my other pin. And then I use, just use my finger to just kind of push out the corners. They don't need to be super pointy. I don't really want to use anything sharp because I don't want to stick a hole through the even weave fabric. So there's, there's the ornament, there's the little pillow back, and now you can just insert that in. Just like you do when you make an envelope with a big pillow. And I just kind of work it from this side and push so that it's in the center. Squish it down, and there you go. You have Old St. Nick and cross stitch in a cute little ornament. Okay, so I took some of my blocks for my vintage Christmas cross stitch pattern and I made ornaments out of them. And there was a few other things I did too. So because these ornaments finish at four inches, also you can buy a four inch frame, isn't that cute? And I put the Christmas tree in there. And then I did the mitten block and I put it on a wide mouth jar, it would only fit on a wide mouth. And I just left off the little white lacy part on the outside so it would fit in there. And I just put my marshmallows in there for my cocoa.